Today I'm going on the best away date in the 92. Well, it could be the worst as well, if I'm honest. You associate Blackpool for the nightlife, roller coasters, fish and chips, the tower, and being by the seaside. I am here in Blackpool to see what the away day experience is like. Remember as well, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So help me out by subscribing. And for more top content like this, it's definitely worth doing. Oh, we're not forgetting the football. We're watching Fleetwood versus Cambridge on Saturday afternoon. I am four hours early until my mates arrive, and we've rented a whole house for the weekend. What could possibly go wrong? I'm just having a walk around and I think where I am right now behind me, amusement parks, whatever, arcades, don't think that's for my age demographic. I need my mates to come ASAP. You could be a little bit confused about the thumbnail of Blackpool, but nevertheless, it's a Blackpool weekend. The last time I was here, I was about 15, 14, maybe even 13, maybe younger than that. So despite completing the 92, it is good to visit the stadium once again. As it's 1 p.m., it's now time to find the fish and chips. Although I don't need to find one, I just need to pick one. There's so many fish and chip shops around here. Papa's fish and chips. I think this is a safe option. Let's see what it's like. I thought I got and just a newspaper but it turns out it is actually a menu we are onto something good here the classic is just what i want that was some unbelievable scrum and jack shout out to him he was looking after me in there absolute legend but nevertheless that is the fish and chips done right if i'm in blackpool then i've got to do it properly haven't i because i'm gonna buy a ticket to go up the blackpool tower why i don't know but it's a friday i've got time to kill let's get up there tickets this way it's gonna cost me a fortune isn't it ticket is secured we are going up the blackpool tower i have no idea how this is gonna be but we're gonna find out i can't believe we just did the jazz hands but i, I just did what i thought was just a trip up to see the view from the blackpool tower ended up with me doing the jazz hands taking a picture with just myself and watching a 4d show this was definitely not what i was expecting and caught me very off guard i think the less said about the cinema experience the better especially at my age 20 one. It's not for me, but we're at the top of the tower now and just look how sketchy this is. On this glass, literally, if it's breaks right now, that is me finito. Let's just put it that way. The view from here looks class. I'm, I'm not complaining at all. But the camera will not give this justice right now. If that glass breaks, it's, you won't even see this video. I don't recommend the cinema, but you have to do that anyway to then watch the view here. Look at the view from up here. You can see the mountains in the distance and I'm not complaining. I've not said that a few times now, but it's actually quite decent whilst you're up here. I haven't got any words to really describe that. £16.50, I will never bother with the cinema once again. I'll tell you what, I did not expect that, but the view from up there, I must say, is worth it. Enough of the tourist attractions around here. My mates are here. They've checked in and rented into that house we're going in. I don't know what we've got. And from this point, it was the nightlife. And it's fair to say it was a heavy one. Wow, well I think that's the nightlife ticked off anyway. The weather's had a turn of events today. Uh, we've done quite well to be honest. We've been up the Blackpool Tower, we've had fish and chips, we've gone by the coast. It's not been too bad. Oh boy, come on United! I am seeing the signs on how this could be the best away day in the 92. I am not sure about this weather today. From what it was yesterday to how it is now, I'm... I cannot believe this. That breakfast got absolutely demolished, but nevertheless, I was going to show you down on the pier, etc, but I just can't. I never thought I'd say this so soon after my last visit to Fleetwood. But here I am, I have arrived. But I never thought I'd be back at Fleet with this. Soon. And here we are then. It may not be Blackpool away, and that was the whole point of the thumb down or whatever, but Fleetwood is today's venue. You know my opinions on this one, but how would you rate this as an away day, Kieran? You can have a night out in Blackpool, you can have a good time with your mates. Oh, easily. Ooh. And I mean Sorry, I nearly got a tap by a dog there. Eight out of ten. Ooh, I'm liking that. Maybe that justifies the title after all. Something you need to get used to this season is on going on his pre-match speeches. Here we go, boys, here we go in Fleetwood. We've been in Blackpool, the cost of the Blackpool, and we're going to win today. 2 0, easy. Gasson is going to do a double again. Well, not again, but he's going to do a double. 3 1, Cambridge. Is it bad to say 0 0? Mm. 1 0, we'll nick it. James Brophy. 2 1, Fleetwood. I think we'll win it. We're at home. You know, we made this place a fortress last year. We weren't great at the start of last season. Such a chance. One thing I want to say, Jim's Bar, by the way, for any away fans who are going to be traveling to Fleetwood, go in there. The atmosphere in there is brilliant. You can mix with the home and away fans. I think it's top class. I really recommend you go and check it out if you do play Fleetwood. Here we go then. Time to visit the away end. The first away game of the season, Fleetwood at Highbury Stadium. 
This is the view we've got today. It's not too bad. On the side of the pitch, they feel quite close to the action, which is not too bad. This is where the Fleetwood fans will be behind the goal on the terrace. Really good to see the 400 youth fans in attendance in the northwest. I think we scored oh, fast to it. Corner ball. Lancaster is through on the left, going down in the middle. First it to Jana, left foot. Save! The improvements, the tiki tacker, the counter attack, even Mark Bonner on the touchline in his in his suit, looking smart, the hair up. And look, I've, I've literally evaluated everything that first half. Second half, the players are out, we're out. Here we go then, let's see if they can get the victory. It's through, Lancaster's through. Saved. Big chance. Big chance. Mark Bonner's 
I've got absolutely no words after that. What an away win for Cambridge. Another 2-0 win. And I apologise I couldn't show the pitch, but if you are a Cambridge fan, then you'll know why I couldn't very soon. The away day as a whole was exceptional. I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't matter where you travel to in the country. The best part of an away day is spending it with your mates, and this weekend was up there as one of the best times I've had.